Hi internet! I've just returned back from the old US of A as you can see by my highly inconspicuous gear that I picked up over there and I brought back with me um, a whole bunch of drunk elephant stuff. It's summer, I got my crypto top on again, my bags are pumping, so let's talk about drunk elephant. The first thing to say about Drunk Elephant is it's kind of a middle of the road price brand and they've got this really interesting philosophy um, about what they call the suspicious six which could be some kind of Enid Blyton or Scooby-Doo style bunch of mysterious strangers but actually they're talking about skincare ingredients so they're talking about essential oils uh, fragrances, silicones, SLS, uh, chemical sunscreens and alcohols as well which they don't have in their products at all which I, I think is probably a really really good idea um, especially because most people can be sensitive to um, one or two of those things. I myself am not a fan of chemical sunscreens because um, uh, the way that they mimic certain hormones in the body and I can be quite sensitive to essential oils as well. When I say it's a kind of middle of the road price brand you're looking at paying something like $80 for the vitamin C serum or $34 for an SPF. I don't know how much it's going to be when uh, Space NK take it on over here um, probably there will be some kind of premium added to it who knows okay so let's go straight on over and have a look at their cleanser so we've got the jelly cleanser here um, you may have recalled in a couple of my previous videos I was not particularly excited about trying uh, a mild cleanser like this because you know I like my acids but actually it's pretty decent um, it does what it says so that is it gets rid of your makeup and it cleans your skin without the use of those six aforementioned ingredients. Um, it says it's cantaloupe. Either my sense of smell is very bad or it actually doesn't smell of cantaloupe, but I'm pretty sure it's not me. I've used like nearly the whole thing and I swear it does not smell of a melon. Weird. Let's go on over to the vitamin C now. Um, which has got one of those cool twisty top things keep it fresh and this product I really liked I thought it was very good um, this has got a 15% L-ascorbic acid 1% vitamin E and 0.5% ferulic acid um, I found that it was not at all stingy when I put it on my skin um, it didn't have any kind of unpleasant smell or odor to it and it dried really really well so this is a recommend from me okay so now we've got the B5 hydrating serum um, again not much to complain about here non-irritating formula dried really really well wasn't at all sticky comes in a cool twisty top like that um, yeah would recommend as well their sunscreen is amazing. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you buy some of this because it's a, it's a physical only sunscreen. It's 20% zinc oxide, but they've somehow managed to formulate it in a really non-clogging way. So, you know, sometimes when you put a physical sunscreen on, it can make your skin look quite white and it doesn't dry very well. Sometimes you get pilling as well. Um, and for whatever reason some people just don't like using sunscreen because of that um, well hey guys fear that no more because seriously this is the bomb um, it's got this really nice uh, almost like a whipped texture to it um, which makes it really fun to use if sunscreen can be such a thing as fun to use um, yeah it's my new favorite They also have the sunscreen 
uh, in a tinted version as well, which is a little bit smaller than the untinted version. Um, again, this is a 20% um, zinc oxide, no uh, chemical protectants in here, it's all physical. It's just, it's just a really nice product. And it's also got that same kind of almost whipped texture to it too. So you know me guys, I'm not a big fan of using a traditional moisturiser because I feel like for me in particular it just doesn't help my skin, it makes it look a little bit dull. But when I was over in the States I did pick up this uh, whipped cream from Drunk Elephant. For some reason I didn't buy their polypeptide cream. Um, I really have no idea why, that's the one with the green top. Maybe they ran out at Sephora or something because that's definitely the sort of thing that I should buy but I didn't, so anyway, whatever. Um, for a moisturizer, I actually really like this. So it's got one of those cool tops where when you press it, the product kind of comes out the top like that. And it has this really, um, again, sort of lightweight whipped texture to it, which I really enjoy. Um, this particular product contains uh, six different oils from Africa um, and also some green tea as well. So it does have some antioxidants in it too. And I think, uh, well, you know, sometimes we all need to use a moisturizer, don't we? So uh, when I do need to use a moisturizer, say I've done a, a peel or something like that and my skin's feeling a bit compromised, um, I think this would be really good to use afterwards. I haven't actually tried it after a peel yet, but I have tried it after some pretty intense glycolic treatments, which are also from Drunk Elephant, and I will come on to those in a second. Um, and yeah, it, it doesn't break me out when I use it, which is a big problem for me when using a, a, a traditional moisturizer. Um, and I would heartily recommend it. Next up, we've got their Frambus Glycolic Night Serum, which is a 12% AHA slash BHA blend. Um, it's pretty strong, this stuff, and I'm somebody who's used to using acids, so if I think it's strong, it's probably pretty strong. Uh, use with caution. You may need to use uh, the aforementioned whipped cream um, afterwards, uh, if you feel like you've got some irritation from this product. One thing that I did think was interesting was they don't have a retinol in their whole range, which I found a bit confusing because they've got the vitamin C, they've got some really wicked SPFs, which also contain antioxidants. Uh, they've got these really incredible um, glycolic products, but no retinol, it's really weird, no? Next up, we have the TLC, oh, that's the name of my clinic as well, uh, Sukari Baby Facial, which also comes with this tiny, tiny Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil as well. So, man, this pack's a real punch. It's a 25% AHA and 2% BHA product, which you use maybe once a week, twice a week at night time. Even I, when I put this on, I found it quite stingy on my skin. And like I said, I'm used to using a, a lot of um, AHAs and BHAs. So yeah, this, this is pretty powerful stuff. Uh, so it's got glycolic, tartaric, lactic, citric, and salicylic acids. It's really powerful stuff. There were a couple of products that I didn't buy when I was over there, so I did not get their C Tango multivitamin eye cream. And what's the other thing I didn't get? Oh, their eye serum as well. I don't really use a separate product for around the eye because this, my skin there is pretty decent. I don't really have any fine lines or anything like that. Um, I didn't get their lip balm either. And they have these little soaps as well, uh, which look really cool, which I also didn't get. So I didn't get the whole range. I just kind of cherry picked what I thought would be good. Next time I go over though, I'm definitely gonna pick up that uh, polypeptide 
cream and I might get their lip balm. I don't know. I'm always looking for new lip balms. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the overview of Drunk Elephant. If you've tried any of the products, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you here again next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you later.